If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. Good morning and welcome to the Senate Executive Departments and Administration Committee. We're going to start the day by opening the public hearing on House Bill 586. Um, Representative Schmidt, who is the prime sponsor, is not able to be here this morning. And I see Representative McGuire, the chair of uh, EDNA on the House side, is here. So perhaps you can introduce the bill. Thank you very I much, Madam Chair. Thank you. I'm Carol McGuire, representing Aramac District 29, Balance Town, Epsom, and Pittsfield. And as amended by the House, House Bill 586 is a cleanup of rulemaking authority and some other minor items for various uh, boards that got moved into the Office of Professional Licensing. And in some cases, we missed you know, reference to who had the rulemaking authority and so forth. Uh, this is the discipline. And so what um, it does is make sure that the we refer to the executive director rather than the commissioner on there is split you know, the places throughout and um, clean to the end of said thing with the language. It has a set, it should have no fiscal impact as as amended and it has uh, basically it, it <coughs> properly authorizes the current process. And if you have detailed questions, I think the director will follow licensing is here so he can answer the details. Thank you very much, Representative. Are there any questions? Seeing none, thank you. The chair will call Catherine Wonka. Good morning, Ms. Wonka. Good morning, Senator Carson and the members. On behalf of the Office of Professional Licensure and Certification, I'm director for several of the boards um, within the Office of Licensure, including uh, body art, massage therapy, and electrologists, which are all part of this bill. Um, so as Representative McGuire stated, this really is to help clean up the language. There were some oversights with the consolidation that left in a lot of references to uh, Department of Health and Human Services and to commissioners, so this will cre create um, or correct those errors by replacing uh, that language with department for um, Office of Professional Licensure instead of department and um, executive director instead of commissioner. Um, this bill will also establish an advisory board for the body art practitioners so that the executive director has uh, subject matter experts available to help him in his decision making. And this would also um, stagger the licensure expiration dates for the body art practitioners and the massage therapists rather than having them all expire on June 30th. Um, that unfortunately is an administrative burden for the mm -hmm. staff to try to renew 2,500 licenses at a time. Um, and, and that's really all it is for this book. So if you have any questions. Thank you very much. Um, Okay, um, are, are there any questions? Uh, Senator Reagan? In the fiscal note, you don't show the revenue, you just show the expense of the board. So if it leaves us with wondering. Good morning, Madam Chair. Good morning. Good morning. We're, we're already collecting revenue for these positions, or for these licenses. Wasn't a question. Okay. The question is how much revenue does this practice produce so we can compare it to how much the expense will be? We can find out that information. Okay. Okay, thank you. If you could get that to us, hopefully by the end of today, that sure. would be Absolutely. terrific. Okay. Are there any further questions? Um, I just have a question about the advisory board. I'm looking and it says um, three body art practitioners, but it doesn't tell you from from which are you talking about tattoo artists? Are you only talking about tattoo artists or are you do you intend to include other people? 
Well, the body art category encompasses tattooing, uh, body piercing, and branding. So okay. most of the practitioners have um, tattooing, but some also do the branding and piercing as well. Okay. Okay. Are there any further questions? Seeing none, thank you very much mm -hmm. for your testimony. Um, and please, again, if you could get us that information by the end of the day, that would be terrific. Absolutely. I'd, I'd just like to see one more thing for the record. Sure. Uh, the original board included an inspector for this position. We believe uh, that because of the invasive nature of this practice, that uh, we should be proactive and have an inspector. Uh, that was taken out okay. of the original bill. So I just have to go on record saying that. Okay. Thank you very much for your testimony. Um, sir, could you just identify yourself for the record? Yes, I'm Peter Danlis. I'm the executive director of the Professional Rescue Certification. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Are there any other members of the public that would like to speak to House Bill 586? Uh, Representative McGuire, if you'd like to come up again. Yes, okay. thank you. The fiscal note is from the bill as originally submitted and not as amended. It talks about a new facility license and a new uh, inspector. Mm -hmm. Those have not been included in the bill as amended by the House. Mm -hmm. So the, I believe that the revenue and the expenses are minimal now that we've taken out the facility license and so the new inspector. Okay. Thank you very much. At least that was our intention. Okay. Um, um, Mr. Freeman, yep. um, okay, sure, please Thank have you. a seat. I'm Ian Freeman, one of the co-chairs of the New Hampshire Liberty Party. I don't object to uh, any kind of cleanup of language, but I do object to uh, new licensing creation, which I believe this does for uh, tattoo parlors. And I think that uh, New Hampshire is the live for your die state. It should be moving in a direction away from more licensing and abolishing uh, licensing, licensing boards. We don't need the government to handle this. Um, we can do this within industries by creating certifications. There are all kinds of businesses that have uh, independent certifications that are even a higher standard than what the government requires. So you know, why we need to have this one size fits all um, government monopoly controlling people's businesses. Uh, people should be able to start a business without having to ask for a government bureaucrat's permission. And uh, on top of that, uh, again, to protect consumers, the businesses themselves and independent certification boards can be formed without any involvement of the state. So I just wanted to share that with you and I thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Mr. Freeman. Are there any questions for Mr. Freeman? Seeing none. Quick thank question. You. Oh, sure. All right, start Even, again. Branding, just new thing for me, never heard of it. Um, even in that case, you're doing, it seems like a, it's not invasive, but it's very. Branding would be like what, like a hot iron or something like that? I'm hoping it isn't. Uh, it's it just, is. it's, uh, it is. it's just a new thing for me. So I'm sorry, I'll just get used to the concept. It just seems like in that case, I might want the state to have a little, little bit of an intervention there. Well, I mean, the, question over. It, the classic, uh, system is to use the state for these sorts of things but uh, ultimately most people going into that would probably realize there's some level of risk and if we did have third-party independent certification that would be probably just as effective if not more so than whatever arbitrary rules the state would come up with and buyer beware you know caveat emptor i as the, the purchaser should be aware of whether or not someone is certified, whether it's by the state or whether it's by an independent certifier. If I want to go and use some backroom brander, uh, then that would be a risk that I would take. Um, not, I'm not interested in that personally, but you know, again, uh, fire beware. Thank you. Thanks. Are there any further questions? Seeing none, Mr. Moore? Holt. Holt. I'm sorry, Mr. Holt. Come on up. Uh, thank you very much. Madam Chair, my name is Michael Holt. I'm the Rules Coordinator for the Department of Health and Human Services. I believe you, um, your office has been made aware of this uh, <clears throat> the issue, but the, there is a need for an amendment to this bill. We already have it. Um, okay, great. I just wanted to be on record. Yes. There are three uh, sections that were uh, missing from the, uh, the bill as mm -hmm. amended. Yes, um, Representative Schmidt, uh, I spoke with him last week, and he had this amendment prepared, 
and we have it so it'll be included in the bill. Okay. Thank you, Thank very, you much. very much. Okay, are there any further questions? Okay, seeing none, we're going to go ahead and close the public hearing on House Bill 586. Okay. We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.